So one of the things I really like about public domain images is that they're free and they're legal. So here I'm on raw pixel and I looked up astronaut and look at the first result I get. It's a pretty iconic photograph of Buzz Aldrin on the moon. Here's the actual picture. It's public domain and it's a beautiful photo. So I'm thinking, hmm, I'll all just upload this into Redbubble and I'll make a bunch of sales. But when I go on to Redbubble and I type in Buzz Aldrin, check that out. There's the photo. There's the photo. There's a photo. There's the photo. There's the photo. There's the photo. Photo, photo, you get the idea. So in this video, I'm going to show you three tips and tricks that I use so that when I grab a public domain photo, I make it more unique than just uploading the photo as is. I'm going to show you three tips and tricks on how to change this photo to make it art so that somebody will buy your design instead of theirs. Let's go. So I want to be clear here before we get started. This is not a Photoshop tutorial. I'm just showing you ideas and you could use any online image software. If you've got a version of Photoshop or Canva, whatever you're using, that's fine. So I'm just happened to be using my ancient old version of Photoshop and I've just got my picture here set up on my canvas. The first thing that I would suggest that you look at doing, if you're just looking for ideas on how to make the image unique, is to just simply remove the background. So what you can do is just take the background off, in this case the space background, and you could just go with that, for example. Now it's not the best design in the world because now you've just got kind of a sticker with this little bump on there, but what you could do is add in, say, some sort of a design like that. And then what you've got is now you've got something playful, you know, in the background and you can make that design pop. You could also move the actual image down lower so you could make, you know, the actual kind of propaganda background. You could really make it pop if you wanted to make it sort of a sticker. I mean, obviously you would tweak the edges and things, but that's an idea where you could make it a little more of a rainbow design. Uh, and it's the same fundamental image, but it's a little more fun. You could add maybe even a cartoon moon at the top or some cartoon stars. It's just, you're making it a bit different. So it's not just the same photo. Another option is to make a shape. In this case, I just drew a circle and then I stuck my image over top of it. And then I'm just gonna put my layer inside of each other. So I can just turn that picture simply into a round circle. Now I could add like a stroke around the circle, like a white apron. I could make it maybe bright pink if I wanted to make the circle, you know, flashy. But I could basically make a circular design. On Redbubble, Sometimes people really like circular designs on t-shirts, stickers, magnets, that sort of thing. So even if you see the exact public domain photo, throw it on a circle and see what happens. Okay, so the third easy way that you can change a public domain photo into artwork is simply by adding some sort of text somewhere in the design. So here I've just got a black background set up in behind the photo. I've got my photo laid on top of it. And I'm just gonna move my photo down a tiny bit and that gives me a large area now that I can work in terms of text. I'm actually gonna remove, I'm just gonna remove the black here from this, just so that I can work on the black over top just in one fell swoop. So you've got a few different options. The first option would be just to simply write what it is in some sort of text. So I'm just gonna use white font and I'm just gonna use very basic font here. 
Okay, so there's nothing super original about this one. I just simply wrote down Apollo 11, and that's really just the lunar mission. And so that's just, that's an option. That would be my Apollo 11 t-shirt design. Now I could just leave the font, I could also just leave the font white. I could have that be my t-shirt design too. That would probably look really good on a black t-shirt. So that's an idea as well. Another idea is you would just take the eraser and you would just brush out sort of pieces of it. You'd soften up the eraser, but you would like create some sort of like a rounded bottom on it. You'd, you know, I would have it much more gradiated, but obviously I'm just trying to save some time here. But something like that could work as well. Okay, another option is to make something funny about this. And so what you could do is, you know, the way I look at this is, you know, this is Buzz Aldrin and he's in space. So I would use that probably as a play on words. So I could say something like, you know, getting, um, you know, buzzed, something like that. Look, I mean, I'm not saying I'm the world's funniest person, but you would put something like that because people know this is such an iconic photograph that if you're wearing it on a t-shirt, everybody's kind of in on the joke. That would be an idea. Another one would just be something like, you know, somebody who's, you know, really into space, you'd write out something like out of office, something that's sort of like an exaggerated truth. That's an idea as well. Another one would be something like a play on words like space. So it's like, give me uh, my space, you know, something like that. Now, obviously you would, you would change the font. You'd make it look a lot better, but I mean, this is just an idea. You know, you could do that. Another option is you could use the vertical type tool and you could just type in the year that this is happening. And so you could put that down, say the side of the photograph and then just maybe make that a different color. So maybe like make it white, for example. And again, I would totally be like monkeying around with like where to place it, you know, how does it look? Is that the right type of font? But that would be an idea, uh, you know, that you could have basically sticking font above it. You could also do curved font. You could have font down the sides. But the idea is you're putting some sort of words on here. Another one that would be really popular, this just popped into my head, would be smaller font. So I'll just change this. But you would basically make this black or what or you could just, I guess you could do white, but I would just make this font much, much smaller, maybe 200. And then I would write in the actual quote that he said, so, you know, one, I know Buzz didn't say it, but um, the, uh, the other astronaut there, one small step for man, uh, one giant leap for mankind. So, you know, something like that. And obviously I would make the, you know, I would make the font, you know, maybe you make mankind really large and you make everything else small. But the idea is you've got some sort of text on there and that adds a whole other dimension to the design. This is a strategy that I use a lot because I take one photograph and then I have 20 sayings or I have 20 text pieces around it. And so when I say like I can upload, you know, or create 50 designs in a day, they're not 50 unique designs. They're maybe five photographs with 10 of these little tricks attached to each of them. So it's a total workaround. This is not high art. This is McDonald's, right? So you're just cranking them out and then you see what sells and then you can tweak accordingly. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Very quick kind of down and dirty tutorial here on just how you can make a public domain photo a little more arty to give you a competitive advantage if you're selling on a print on demand platform. Hope that helps.